Hello all, how's it going? New day. Um, I have a, hopefully a short video for you, but I have some things I wanted to update you on. For one, first off, I had to go for, as soon as I got up this morning, I had to go in for a COVID test. And um, it was the PCR test where they go way up deep into your nose. And uh, it was uncomfortable, I, to say the least. Um, I know I don't have COVID, but they sent an announcement, a second announcement to my door saying, not only before it was one person from the family or from each dwelling had to go get a COVID test. And then they brought me another one that said, everybody has to go get a COVID test. It even had a time on it that I had to be there. Um, so that was the way my day started out with a swab up my nostril into my brain. But uh, anyway, so, but a lot of people have been asking about Lawn and why you haven't seen Lawn on here or Boss. Um, if you weren't with us before, if you're a new subscriber or you haven't been watching the videos, uh, Lawn caught, that's my wife, Lawn, she caught dengue fever from a mosquito and um, she was very sick and she was in the hospital for seven days. Um, so I hadn't seen my wife for seven days and then after she got out of the hospital a week ago, she went to her parents' house to stay because uh, we needed to save on money. We're inching by on money. We're just barely scraping by. And um, so she went to stay there and they cook Vietnamese food so they can cook for her. And she's, you know, she's getting pretty big and uh, she's seven and a half months pregnant. And uh, um, yeah, she's getting pretty big and uncomfortable. So her mom can cook Vietnamese food for her because I can't, I'm not good at cooking the Vietnamese food. Um, I've tried to convert her over to Western food, but she's just not, she's not having it. She doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like hamburger. She doesn't even really like meat that much. And that's mainly the things that I cook. But uh, at any rate, yeah, that's where Lawn's at. And um, after she has the baby, she's going to go stay with her parents for a month afterwards. She's what she said, a month, I think. Um, she's going to go stay there. Um, because she's worried that the baby will be up crying all night and keep me awake and then I have to go to work, but um, Hopefully I'll have to go to work, but um, anyway the money situation. It's not as bad as what it sounds because um, I'm on salary, so I get paid anyway, but right now with the English Center It's a new English Center. It's only been open for four years and um, they don't have the money right now to pay me, but I'll get back all that money retroactive uh, later on when things when things get better whenever we get out of lockdown. Um, so anyway, there's that, and uh, a lot of I had a few people comment on how they liked that my videos were simple and uh, simple content, and uh, that it's just me and the camera. Well that's good because that's the way it's always going to be. It's going to be me and the camera. Um, I, I will get a new camera eventually. Uh, if you don't know, my GoPro took a crap on me about a month ago. And so I've just been making these videos, no editing, no nothing, just taking a straight shot on my phone and then uploading it to YouTube. But, um, yeah, they're never going to be, I'm never going to have drone footage and they're never going to be a big production. It's just going to be me. So anyway, you see I get a new camera. That's a good sign because that means that uh, the travel restrictions were lifted and I was able to go to Ho Chi Minh City to get the camera. I could order one online, but for a purchase like that, I like to go myself and, and buy it personally because I, I want to see what I'm buying. And uh, yeah, so that would be a good day. Um, as far as the lockdown goes, it's it's still really hard. It's and especially now that if Lawn and bosses are, are at her parents' house, um, I'm here alone, and I've been alone in the house for I think three weeks now. I've been alone in the house, and it's it takes a toll on you. You know, you, it's 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 not fun. But at the same time, I, I worry about if I couldn't get back to America for some reason if God forbid I would there would be an emergency in America and I would have to go back there um, it's almost impossible to go back right now it's not impossible but they make it very hard on you to get back uh, for one there's no taxis or no cars 
leaving uh, anywhere. They're, they're just not running uh, the only way. There's no buses, no trains, no nothing like that. Everything's shut down. So the only way to get to Ho Chi Minh City would be by a motorbike, um, which somebody would have to take me because I couldn't just leave my motorbike there. You know, I mean, somebody would have to take me. And if they would let, I, I would have to have a flight booked and show it to the, when we get to the police barricade and they're entering into Ho Chi Minh City, uh, I'd have to show them that I have a flight out. And then I don't know about the person that's taking me, if they could get through, you know, if they're allowed to go to take me. So I don't know, that would be one of the hardest parts is just getting to Ho Chi Minh City and where the airport is. Um, and that also leaves the problem of what, what about luggage? I, how am I going to put luggage and two people on a motorbike? And, you know, I mean, it just makes it almost impossible just to get to Ho Chi Minh City. And then to get on to board a plane, you have to have a PCR test, a deep nasal test like they did on me this morning. Um, you have to have a PCR test done at a hospital, at a a designated hospital and it has to be done within 48 hours or 72 hours they keep changing it but I don't know I don't know which one it is now but 48 hours or 72 hours before you board the flight so that means you would have to leave Tainan province where I'm at and you would have to go in the wee hours of the morning a two-hour drive to Ho Chi Minh City and then get to the hospital first thing in the morning, get the PCR, to, because it takes a day for the, the whole day for the test to come back. So you would have to get there in the morning, get the PCR test done, get back to the hospital and pick up the PCR test and take that to the airport, either leave that night, late that night, and it's hard to book flights in the times that you that you want. You know, it's there's very few flights, they're limited on flights going out. And um, so you would have to find a flight that left late that night and get all that done during the day before you leave and then going out. The only other way would be to get a hotel room and get the PCR test the day before and go back the next day and pick it up and then go to your flight. But the hotels are not, most of them don't allow people from outer provinces. I don't think, I think it's all restricted. You can't, you can't get a hotel room. So that would leave that option out. So, but anyway, yeah, so I'm basically stranded in Vietnam, which isn't a bad place to be because the COVID cases are in the like 200,000 range, somewhere in there. And there's a hundred million people. Yeah, a hundred million people in Vietnam. So that's a pretty good ratio. That's, yeah, I, I think I would rather be here than most places in the world right now. I just think in the back of my mind, and it's one thing living overseas that you have to think about, and I don't like to think about, but what if something happened to one of my family members, my siblings, or my parents are 84 years old, and I just worry that, God forbid, that something would happen and I would have to go to a funeral or something and to miss my own parents' funeral. That would just be horrible. I hate I hate thinking about this and I hate to bring it up, but it's one of the things that has to be on your mind. You know, it's 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 inevitable that something like that's going to happen eventually someday. And uh, during this lockdown, it's uh, yeah, it's scary. Not yeah, because I don't even know if something did happen if I could make it back in time to be of any good or to to go to a funeral or to, to help out with the sick relative or anything I you know I don't know how it would take a long time to get back um, so anyway yeah there's that and that's yeah I don't like thinking about that but I have to but um, so anyway what else was there um, I think that's it uh, I'm gonna let you go I will make another video in a couple of days or in a week or so I don't know I'm just playing it by ear but yeah, this is as raw as you're going to get, this this YouTube channel. It's not going to get any more. Uh, it's not going to get fancy. I'm not looking to get famous or anything. Not at all. But um, I'd, I'd like for it to get up to enough to where I can make some money off of it and uh, 
and we can continue our charities and the things that we're doing here. But uh, at any rate, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, love you all. Peace. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button, button and you'll get, select no notifications and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Um, and like the video, um, that helps to, with the YouTube algorithm and uh, helps my videos get out there to more people. Um, so anyway, over and out. Love you all. Uh, comment down below. Let's have a chat. Uh, I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Uh, peace out.